Hello Aquarius, this, this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, or Rising Signs, for the week of March 27th to April the 2nd. So if you have Aquarius as your Sun sign, your Moon sign, or your Ascendant sign, or Rising sign, this reading is for you. Um, as always, um, you decide what resonates with you, and then leave the rest. Um, this is a general reading for everyone who has Aquarius as their Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. So I'm going to be using, first I'm going to pull um, an oracle card, then I'll pull a tarot card. I'll, I'll pull several tarot cards after that, probably six tarot cards after that. But first I'm going to do one um, oracle card. So please show me the general energy for Aquarius, please. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Aquarius, please. What energies are coming for Aquarius in the week of March 27th, please? Please show me the Aquarius energies. Please show me Aquarius. Aquarius. Alright. Archange Archangel Heniel. Joy, blessings, intuition. So that's very nice. So you're really um, delving into your intuitive, you know, emotional water energies, but not just emotional, but instinctive. So there might be some and there might be um, some stories of wisdom coming your way um, that were um, not as accessible before, and this is this is uh, this is opening the door to um, more happiness for you, to more joy and um, just joy in every just joy in everyday life and in all the opportunities you have and just the little things like how the how the angel here is is um, feeling joyful about holding the. A little, a little bird in the nest. It's just it's the little things in life that can be magical. So that's the message that's coming to you right now, which is wonderful. All right, now I'm going to be um, asking the um, Rider Waite tarot deck um, for energies for you for the week of March 27th for Aquarius, please. Aquarius, please. Aquarius, please. I'll pull three cards at first, and I'll probably pull killer. Um, oh, clarifiers as well. So there's a definite one. That's the Knight of Pentacles. So this is grounded um, Earth energy, um, and with the Knight, it, the Knight moves forward, but the Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving Knight. So cautious, um, not getting carried away. Um, you know, being accumulative, making sure that you um, you're thinking of practical concerns and resources, and um, yep. Yeah, so the, the, that's the Knight of Pentacles. So you're you're moving forward in your life in a calm, considered, rational way, and most specifically in a grounded way. And this this energy is helping you because um, in this way because you're able to find joy in little things. So you're not feeling that you have to spend a lot of money or feel like you have to, you know, necessarily you know, like keep up with the Joneses and things like that. You're just, you're finding, you're, 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 you're gaining more wisdom to um, find, to find joy in the smaller things and you're getting more practical, you're getting a very practical, um, resourceful, considered energy here with the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so let's see what else there is for Aquarius, please. Aquarius, please. Okay, this came up in an earlier reading too for another sign. This is the um, Seven of Pentacles, so another Pentacle. So this is another Earth energy, very practical, um, considered, um, grounded. Um, so this is the enjoying the enjoying the rewards of what of your work of what you've done. And also considering what else you can do. So you're you're moving forward, and you're you're enjoying you're enjoying what you're enjoying what you've you, what you've achieved, and you're considering you're waiting for more you're waiting for more results to come forward of what you've done. All right. So let's see what else we have here. Very grounded energy so far, and very um, wise and considered. So let's see what else we have for our Aquarius. Aquarius, please. Ace of Swords. So sometimes people call this a sort of truth. So 
it can be initiative as well confidence cutting through cutting through illusions very intellectual um clear thinking clarity focused um energy and in, in here you're you're cutting through um any nonsense or illusions and just getting to the truth and using using that knowledge to help you move forward okay so let's clarify the um, knight of pentacles a bit further clarification for the knight of pentacles please clarification please for the knight of pentacles okay this is death card don't don't <laughs> don't get them sad this most of the time has nothing to does nothing to do with um with physical death it's just transformations moving forward um releasing old ways of thinking that are that might be holding you back okay so i think what's happening is that the knight of pentacles you, i think you have realized that i think you've realized that there's something that you were being hasty with or um being hasty about or um not thinking not 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 thinking things through before you acted and now with this new energy you're you're um you're um you found a wiser way a wiser way of moving forward so you, you you've been released from an old an old energy okay let's find um a clarifier for uh, the seven of pentacles okay the king of swords so again we're seeing cutting through nonsense cutting through illusions um, confidence, being assertive, um, taking control, and moving forward. Now, what about the Ace of Swords? Ace of Swords. Okay, more more uh, Pentacles. This is um, very earth ori earth oriented. This reading. So, in the Page of Pentacles, we can this can sometimes be an opportunity. So again, we see the opportunity, new new chances for trans for transformation, for um, su success, and enjoying having the um, perceptiveness and insight to see that sometimes sometimes opportunities can seem small, but they can actually be very eventful if you um, if you pursue them and uh, and do everything you can in a mindful and and considered way to. Um, to uh, fulfill them. So I hope you enjoyed your reading Aquarius. Please let me know if you did. Um, please like, please subscribe so you see all my future readings. Please let me know if this resonated for you in the comments. And um, I look forward to, to um, seeing you again next time. All right, bye.